Hi there, my name is Stephen and I'm a hospitality lecturer at the North Highland College here in Thurzo. I want to tell you first and foremost that we'll be open for business in September and offering all the courses that we run here. If you're interested in working in the hospitality industry and want a foot on the jobs ladder, then you're going to come to the right place. We offer three levels of SVQ here, one, two and three. We also offer HNC, professional cookery, and this year we're running a PDA, hospitality online. But no matter which level you come in, if you're not frightened of hard work and you're keen, we can guarantee that we'll get you a job. Our courses are predominantly practical cookery based. However, at the UHI you can study all the way to degree level. In fact, a few of my ex-students are now working in colleges and schools around the country. So why not come along to our virtual open night, or open afternoon, sorry, on the 15th of June. We can have a chat with me and some of my colleagues and discuss courses and job options. So I thought what I'd do today, a little demonstration, something nice and cheery, nice and easy. So what we're going to do today is fresh, oh, pizza, homemade pizza. Nothing could be easier. It's basically a bread dough with tomato sauce on top. So we've got here, we've got 500 grams of strong flour. It should be strong flour, because there's a high gluten content in strong flour, which is good for bread making. We've got some salt and caster sugar, some olive oil, a little bit of dried yeast by the shops, and 320 grams of lukewarm water. It has to be lukewarm, that allows the yeast to activate. If it's too cold, the yeast won't activate, it'll go to sleep. If it's too hot, you'll kill the yeast. So basically mix all these ingredients together into a dough. So mix all the ingredients together into a dough. Now what we want to do is knead the dough. We have to knead it to allow the dough to get nice and soft. So we basically push it with the heel of our hand and our fingers. We do that for about 10 minutes. So it's quite a long process, but it's kind of therapeutic. Basically knead that for 10 minutes and then we're going to leave it to rest and rise for about an hour. So that's not quite 10 minutes, but you need that for 10 minutes. Put it in a bowl, cover it with a cloth, a cling film, and put it in a warm place, and that will double in size. So we've got one I made earlier here, risen nicely, puffed up, and this will make about five pizza. It's a little bit sticky, just put some flour on the table, it's not a problem. Basically, give it a little knead, and then we can divide it into roughly five pieces. You can make three massive ones or five decent ones. So that's our pizza base. We're going to roll that out with a rolling pin. Plenty of flour. Get nice and thin. Don't be frightened to put too much flour. Now in a good restaurant you'll pay £10 for a pizza. Today we're going to make five pizzas for a lot less than £10. So that's basically our pizza base. Now some of my students in the past have put some cheese and folded over to make a stuffed crust, things like that. I'm just going to do the basic pizza today. There we go. So, if I put it on a tray, put it in here. Now what we need now is our tomato topping. You can buy a jar of Safeway or Tesco Pizza topping, the meal pizza topping, that's perfectly acceptable. I prefer to make my own because it's cheaper and it's tastier. So basically, I've got some here made this morning and all that is is a tin of tomatoes with some onion and garlic um, and some tomato puree. Boil up for 10 minutes and liquidise it. So they've got a nice, really thick tomato sauce, which I can use for the pizza base. I can also use that for a sauce for different types of pasta. So basically, I'm going to spread this on the pizza. And you put as little as much as you want on the, on the base. Nice messy job. And then what we need now is our toppings. Now, we really put anything we want on a pizza. Um, my family like all different types of toppings. This is for me today, so I'm going to use some ham to sprinkle the ham around. Some mushrooms, nice bit of pepper there, pepperoni. Everything apart from pineapple, which is just wrong. And then a little bit of onion, some basil, got a bit of basil in mine. 
There's some seafood here that you put on the top of your pizza. And then we need some cheese. I've got some mozzarella here, um, which I sprinkle on there. You can use cheddar, any type of cheese you want, different types of cheese. There we go. My oven about 220, full bung the oven, and that'll win for about 12 to 15 minutes till it's lovely and golden brown. So that's it, job done, easy peasy. So if you'd like to get more recipes from me or speak to me about anything about the college, come along to the virtual open night, or open day, sorry, on the 15th of June. Thanks for your time.